Welcome to the CEO's blog for this week. The next couple of weeks will be very exciting with the Carnival of Miracles. However, TAB Carnival Cups action was last weekend at Albury and it was to be at Orange, but unfortunately we had to again transfer to Gold Crown Paceway Bathurst. At Albury, the Pacers Cup was won by Sonny Weaver for Amanda Turnbull as the trainer and Lee Sutton as the driver. Whilst the main support feature, the Ian Bruce Memorial String of Pearls, was taken out by Shayella, trained by Laura Crossland and driven by Damien Wilson. Unfortunately, the rain leading up to the Orange meeting on the grass at Tawak Park again forced the transfer to Bathurst. The Kent's Hardware Banjo Patterson Cup was won by Xperia, trained by Jason Grimson and driven by Bernie Hewitt. The Kevin and Kay Seymour Lady Drivers Ladyship Pace was taken out by Dibaba, driven by Amanda Turnbull for Jack Trainer. And as both grass track meetings were abandoned this year or actually transferred to Bathurst, Harness Racing New South Wales will be working with club officials, Frank McRae and his team to see where we can schedule at least one grass track meeting during this year. And the lead into the carnival continued at Tabcourt Parkman Angle with the Sibelia Stakes won by Stylish Memphis. And in doing so, she guaranteed herself a position in the Ladyship Mile on February 27. Uniquely, however, the mare trained by Mark Jones and cared for by Jack Trainer will this week contest the Cordina Farms Chariots of Fire and therefore has two chances of finding her way into the Million Dollars Garrard's Miracle Mile. The Paleface Adios Sprint was won by Expensive Ego, trained by Belinda McCarthy and driven by leading New South Wales Rainsman Luke McCarthy. And the Sky Carnival Miracles launch was held at Tabcourt Park Menangle on Wednesday night. Robert Marshall opened proceedings and what a wonderful night it was. Presentations took place as well as some really in-depth interviews with horsemen who will have horses during the carnival contesting and aiming for the Garrard's Miracle Mile. The four-night carnival commences tonight at Newcastle, whilst tomorrow night at Tabcourt Park Menangle, the $200,000 Chariots of Fire will be the feature. Lock and Var Art for trainer David Moran and owner Kevin Gordon, despite drawing the outside barrier eight, is the firm favourite to win the $100,000 AVE Technologies Newcastle Mile and become the first horse into the Miracle Mile. On Saturday night, the Barry draw has thrown the Chariots of Fire wide open with the more favoured horses, pre-draw, to start from the wider barriers. Other races at Tabcourt Park Menangle are the Group 2 Therese Cordina Robin Dundee Stakes and three heats of the New South Wales Oaks. Next Tuesday from 9.30am live on Sky One, the barrier draws for the two qualifying sprint races will be conducted as well as the Ladyship Mile and the New South Wales Oaks final. And thankfully, Following successful trials at Riverina Paceway Wagga on Wednesday night, we will resume racing there again next Tuesday. The first trial was won by Rihanna Rains in a re respectable 158. Despite drivers advising the track was on the heavy side, which was to be expected for any newly laid track. There was also an issue of larger than specification stones in the track material, which was addressed by the club. And again, like at many tracks, this can be experienced. The surface material from Mill Bay Quarries, which has now been applied on Riverina Paceway, is the same as that on Leeton, Juni and Tamora tracks. And it will now be up to the club to maintain the surface in accordance with Harness Racing New South Wales standards. With the Riverina four and five year old championships to be conducted at Easter, the club's track curator naturally will need to work on the surface to attain maximum performance. And the Women Can Team Teal campaign continues with, in New South Wales, with female trainers and drivers winning at every meeting and landing money for this wonderful cause during the past week. Harness Racing New South Wales donates $200 for every winner driven by a female and $100 for every winner trained by a female at New South Wales meetings. With our ambassador bonuses and the Owners and Breeders Association's top-ups, if the horse is trained, driven and solely owned and bred by a female, the fund quickly swells in dollars. Highlights for the week were, at Albury, a training double for Laura Crossland. At Broken Hill, the non-TAB meeting, Cassie Robinson landed a double and her sister Stevie a winner on the five race program. When you include Ashley Camilleri, 
the trio from our furthest outpost are certainly doing their bit in raising funds. At Orange, a driving treble for Amanda Turnbull, one of which she trained. At Newcastle and at both Menangle meetings, training doubles for Belinda McCarthy. At Menangle on Tuesday, a training double for Narelle McCarthy, whilst at Junee, a training double to Alana Pitt. At Bathurst, a driving double, one of which she trained, was for Amanda Turnbull, whilst at Penrith last night, Belinda McCarthy again trained a winner. The win by Chocker Block, however, gained the Owners and Breeders Association bonuses as the horse was solely owned and bred by Jane Morris, who was also the trainer and driver. Well done, Jane, and thank you to Flora and Michael and your committees for the contribution to the fundraising. As at today, we have passed the halfway mark in our quest to raise $50,000 for ovarian cancer research. And we can't forget, TAB is donating $200 to every female driving win across the nation. And here in New South Wales, Club Menangle, they are donating $200 for every winning horse driven by a female at their track. A milestone this week for Luke McCarthy, 2,700 winners when he won with Expensive Ego last week at Tabcorp Park Menangle. Another milestone, a very unique milestone, it's 40 years of service for the New South Wales Harness Racing Club for Owen Mulligan. Owen, of course, is the very popular Menangle Park track manager. And today, 40 years of service to the New South Wales Harness Racing Club at Harold Park and Tabcorp Park Menangle. Congratulations, the gold watch can't be too far away, Big O. Keep up the good work. And the APG Sydney sale is fast approaching to be held on Sunday, the 7th of March, the night after the $1 million Garrard's Miracle Mile. And I must compliment the very proactive New South Wales Breeders Association who will be conducting the annual yearling parade and barbecue on the Friday before the sale. There are a host of incentives for horses to be paraded. A random draw of horses paraded will attract three New South Wales Breeders Challenge Series eligibility sustaining fees for fillies and likewise for colts. That is six in total. Whilst all trotting bred yearlings sold at the sale will automatically become Trot New South Wales sustained at no cost to the purchasers. Other awards were presented courtesy of International Animal Health for the filly and cult judged as the best presented in the parade. And whilst that wonderful catalogue is out, also out is the catalogue for the Bathurst Gold Crown sale. If you're looking for a catalogue there, contact Graham Borden Company or the Bathurst Club, Danny DeWire, he'll have a stack of them there for you because there's some very nice yearlings in that sale also, which is on March 21. And on the COVID front, what a relief with the lifting of the lockdown in Victoria and horses can travel freely, they could, but so can their owners, trainers and drivers into New South Wales for our Sky Carnival of Miracles. Any restriction could have placed immense disappointment on those owners, trainers and drivers from attending the carnival. Now that owners and essential persons are back into the stable areas at Penrith, Newcastle and Menangle, we are nearing normality back to where we were at this time last year. There will certainly be an accreditation process for Newcastle Mile Night and the three nights of the Club Menangle Carnival, which was the situation last year. Therefore, Everyone who is permitted entry into the stables, please work with club officials and securities to make this a seamless process. Drivers are reminded, once again, you must wear the race colours as declared by the trainer and published in the race book, as announced by Harness Racing New South Wales in late January and alerted to you on several occasions since. The compulsory wearing of masks in enclosed spaces, such as stewards rooms and swab facilities remain in place. And whilst you're there, in those stable areas or anywhere on the racetrack, please remember social distancing, personal hygiene are our best combatant to the virus. I wish you all the best. We've come a long way in this past 12 months. Let's keep taking it forward. There is a vaccination just around the corner, but we can't let our guard down. And at this time, I remind all participants of our Mates for Harness program. If you need to talk to somebody, reach out and talk to somebody near you. And if you can't do that, please contact Morris Logue here at Harness Racing New South Wales. Drop him an email, he'll come back to you as quick as he possibly can, 
or make a phone call to him. Morris is here to help you, as are so many other people in this industry. Also, um, I wish Paul Fitzpatrick all the best. Freak accident. He fell off his tractor and unfortunately has broken his leg. Paul will be on the sideline for a fair while, but hopefully he'll have a real pick-me-up in the Chariots of Fire tomorrow night with two runners in Zeus Bromac and JOK. Keep up your spirits, Paul, and hopefully we can see at least the horses in the winner's circle and you are cheering them from at home. Don't forget, the week ahead and the week after and the week after that, we're celebrating the Sky Carnival Miracles. If you can't make it to the track, watch it on Foxtel, Sky One, and get the app, get the Sky Active app, and see a lot more coverage because Sky, Clubman Angle, Newcastle Harness Racing Club and Harness Racing New South Wales will be putting out something special. Coverage of the carnival will be like never before. So please download the Sky Active app. That's it for this week. I wish you all the best. Be positive about what you do. Think of others around you and have an enjoyable week of harness racing, not only here in New South Wales, but across the nation.